Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I introduce a modification to my pre-existing 747 model that I have in my airplane pack and that modification is a Virgin Orbit livery. This is in honor of the first orbital launch from UK soil I guess with Launcher 1 on the 747 named Cosmic Girl, and so we have Launcher 1 there. Launcher 1 was part of my Real Rockets pack already. Uh, it's possibly one of, my, it's one of my oldest models, possibly the oldest, but no, I think the Pegasus was older. Uh, but yes, it's very old and I probably need to work on that too. Uh, but first, let's talk about Cosmic Girl. Uh, it's just a B9 part switch uh, change in texture so it would require B9 part switch to be able to do this so we have the NASA livery there and Virgin Orbit livery and same with the engines uh, now I did not make the control surfaces it's easy to make the control surfaces if they're aligned with an axis so if this edge was straight then I would do it in a heartbeat but because they are angled it's a pain in the rear end just trust me on that and so we've got b9 procedural control surfaces and for that reason the logo could not extend into the rudder which it actually does i haven't painted the rudder because basically i wanted to indicate that it is not part of the mod so you'll have to figure that out for yourself if you use it also on this side I still haven't figured out how to fit the word virgin in a convincing way on this side. Uh, obviously having the rudder space really helps in this situation. I tried to sneak it down, but yeah, I suggest if you're doing a video on it, just take it from this side. It uh, might be a little bit troublesome when the launcher one drops, but you know, this angle will be fine. Uh, and of course you can do the control surfaces a little bit better. Uh, I did also did not do the control surfaces for uh, Launcher 1 here, though I might do that later on. Among the flaws in Launcher 1 is the engine doesn't look all that great, but hopefully it will work. I have not tested this before in 1.12. I'm going to make that the root part. Uh, and the payload adapter doesn't look great either. But uh, yeah, I have not flown this at all in 1.12. The jagged edge here is because of the way I originally unwrapped the 747 textures. I did not expect to be painting that part separately and now that I have obviously I regret the way I did that I might just redo the 747 with greater detail later on but for now we'll go with this and the landing gear is not mine it's uh, adjustable landing gear and I might actually make it larger and the reason for that is because when we take a look at launcher one at the back end here you can see that when the plane rotates, it might scrape the control surfaces here if we're not careful. So having these landing gear be a little bit larger would help. But of course, we still have to be able to rotate. So that is a catch. Now, the actual livery of Cosmic Girl doesn't have the gray part at the bottom here. I've left that for now because that was part of the NASA livery. But I'll change that later if I get a chance. So anyway, obviously this model of the 747 is bare minimum kind of thing and I have a lot of work to do, but I decided that for the occasion I would try to do it and at least uh, this uh, version orbit portion here looks okay. It's a downside to having only 2k textures though that if you zoom in it's not going to look great. But anyway, we have a flight test to do. So let me save and take it outside and see if it works. It was tough to get to work before in the first place, so it's going to be a challenge. Now, there is no launch site in the UK as part of real, uh, Realism Overhaul or Real Solar System. I might be able to change that by just placing a Kerbal Constructs runway, but I haven't done that yet. I'll do that after they succeed, <laughs> basically. They have not succeeded yet. After they succeed, I'll consider that. Um, so we're launching from Cape Canaveral for now. It looks better out, out here than in the SPH, but there's no fixing the tail logo there. All right, so we'll see if this works using atmospheric autopilot as well. And I'm only half fueled. Oh, 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 gosh. I don't need that. I don't need that. Oh, 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 oh. It's already got problems. Well, that was dramatic. 
<laughs> okay, let's try to, that again. How did I avoid having that happen before? Hmm. No matter what, I'll link the updated plane pack with the new livery in the video description. It's just that uh, it'd be nice to be actually be able to test this. Landing gear placement is going to be tricky though. I guess it's because the rocket is on one side, but... Uh... I don't like this. Hmm. Okay, let me let me check in the space plane hangar. Do I do I need to put a counterweight on the other side? Does the real thing actually have a counterweight? I wouldn't expect so. The rudder should be able I mean the vertical stabilizer should be able to handle it, but apparently not. Hmm. Doesn't yeah, I mean we've got a center mass issues, so what I'll do is I'm gonna clip a tank in to counterbalance Launcher 1. Just for now. We could just uh, have a different fuel balance. We could have uh, less fuel over on this side and that would balance it too. Maybe that's a somewhat more elegant way of going about it. By the time we get higher up, it'll be fine. really don't want the center of mass going back though. It's a big fuel difference between the two wings, but okay, we're, we're probably not going to use that much anyway. Let's try that out. I was mostly anticipating problems with dropping it and getting it to orbit, not just taking off. Incidentally, the pylon I'm using for the Launcher 1 is just the X-15 pylon that was previously tested for the B-52. Uh, there's no node on the wing for it, so I just surface mounted it. And But uh, when I update Launcher 1 eventually, uh, that will have a node for it. So that I can attach properly. Okay, let's try this again. Well, it's not going to one side, so let's go. Uh, it still sort of wants to go on to its tail, though. Oh. Uh, I'll move the wheels for back. These sort of get in the way of things. Of the flaps. Maybe I should use the flaps. Well. I've gone to flap setting one. Don't know if that'll do anything, but we can try. No, it's not flopping on the tail this time. It's so quiet though. I need to figure out the sounds on these engines. Okay, hopefully we can rotate now. Going pretty fast already. And we're off! It flies! We could probably carry less fuel, but the fuel is currently counterbalancing the Launcher 1, so... Uh, otherwise we have like 5 hours right now, which is probably overdoing it for this mission. Uh, it's a nice look in general. Now that we've got air across the vertical stabilizer, we could probably rebalance the fuel. We don't seem to have any yaw problem right now. Let's see what happens. Before we land, we would have to rebalance it anyway. Um, or even after we let go of launch one. Yeah, a little bit of a yaw thing, but 
overall fine. I wonder why it's using rule that much, but whatever atmospheric autopilot wants to do to keep it stable is fine by me. But yeah, now we basically have this stuff. Well, we could probably put a little bit more on this side. Right now the payload for Launcher 1 is just a test tank of Avgas and it's 400 kilograms. Uh, the launcher is rated to 500 kilograms to 230 kilometer low Earth orbit. We will see whether we can do 400 first. It might fall short still here. Again, the model is very old and I might want to update the numbers on it too. Okay, we're getting close to the intended height and I'm going to Alt F5. I'm going to switch to SAS as well. Oh, no operational SAS module. Um, that might be a problem. Uh, it does occur to me that the reason why the 747 doesn't have a operational SAS module is that it does have a minimum crew of two. And we don't have any crew. So that would be a flaw. All right. Well, let's see if we can work around that with Smart ASS. Um, I guess we'll go surface setting, let's say 92, pitch 5. In theory, we should be controlling from this. Let's see. Let me let me try an Alt F5 now. For tense here. Okay, what's going to happen here? Well, something happened. Oh, okay, we are already controlling from this. Vapor in feed lines. Hmm. Okay, here we go again. Separation and ignition. Uh, that seems like the wrong one. Okay, here we go again. Separation. Ah, separation and ignition. Okay, we're off, and we're flipping and breaking apart. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe we'll turn a little bit slower then, but that's hard. It's hard to go slower. It's not letting me Alt F9. It's not actually letting me, I press escape and it won't let me get that menu. It no longer recognizes that I'm in charge here. I can't press any. I can't get anything out of it. Okay. Alt F12. No ref exception. I feel like I have a problem with this puppy. Again, it is one of, if not the oldest mod that I made, so I guess it's not too surprising. Separation. I don't know why it flames like that. Oh, it's still flipped out. Hmm. Didn't seem to be actually going up either. Okay, I've restarted again. I think perhaps avoid using the launcher one for my real rockets back until I get a chance to update it. Uh, it clearly needs some work and me crash the game <laughs> or something like that. Not crash the game, but uh, cause serious null riffing that makes it problematic but we're going to try this one more time but i don't have too much hope we'll see what happens all right because it keeps uh having the vector velocity vector going like really far down each time but let's try it out okay separation separation and ignition I gotta try and pitch up too much. I mean, the vertical speed is going down for some. Uh, I mean, we're pointed this way. Hmm. Uh, 
Ah, uh, and report. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, it actually let me load save this time. I'll try one more time then. It's expecting that when it ripped apart, it would not let me load the save, but while it does, I'll give it one more shot. I think it's safe to say that we've uh, worked out all the possible explosions and hopefully the real thing will have a nice safe flight and everything. <laughs> we've gotten all this out of the works. All the bad mojo, if you will. Okay, maybe I'll try pitching up more initially. This is a little bit extreme. Oh, I forgot to switch to two engines. Well, now we're going pretty slow, but... Ah, that causes it to flip out at that angle. Hold on, let me check on the control surface actuation range. Maybe we can up that a bit. Oh, I just discovered why I'm having a problem. These are B9 procedural wings. They're not all moving B9 procedural wings. They're fixed. We have no control when we separate. Ah, okay. We are going to have to... If this video gets uploaded late, too late for the actual mission, this is why. I keep messing about, but uh, yes, we will uh, we'll just abandon this and we are going to fix that and we'll try again. Okay, well, I've got proper fins this time, ones that will actually actuate all moving space plane procedural wings, finally. For some reason we're on the regular runway. That's probably not an issue. Hopefully not. Let's go. We're still carrying way too much fuel, but that won't be a problem. Worth remembering A and D for nose wheel steering. While it's going slow, there's not enough air across the vertical stabilizer or rudder to control the yaw. Okay, and off we go. Flying over various complexes here, as well as my own monument launcher pier. Now it's got the American flag on there, I guess they probably put the British flag on there or Union Jack. Maybe. I haven't looked. We're a little bit lower than last time, but I'm just going to go ahead and try it, pitching up. I don't know how high it pitches up to, but that should be enough. Okay. And ignition. It's still going down on the vertical speed. Oh, 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 I didn't want to do that. Uh, even with the fins actuating, and they were actuating, it's it's not great. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it here, and I'm probably going to adjust the Launcher 1 model a bit. Maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. Uh, but yes, this clearly takes some practice to get it to work off of the 747. And I'll I'll make a new video once I figure it out. But for now, Cosmic Girl livery is a thing, and I'll link the plane pack in the video description with the new livery. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.